Portnoy. And General Paxton, thank you so much for your service to our country. General Paxton, um, would you agree or argue that the center of gravity for the Taliban is its ability to control the civilian population overtly uh, or covertly through a shadow government and exact revenues uh, from them? I would agree with that, sir. Then, uh, then in looking at the uh, operation that we're going to do next in, in Kandahar, which is the, the, the basis of the Taliban in terms of that's where they originated from, uh, if we are able to deny them that, uh, the ability to exercise governance over the Taliban people, either through a shadow government or, or covertly. Um, what does that do uh, in terms of, uh, of, I mean, from an overall perspective in terms of this war in Afghanistan and bringing it to a close? The, the first step, obviously, it, it denies them, just so you have a physical freedom of movement, it denies them the emotional, the intellectual, the governance freedom of movement. So if they have a populace that they can't reach, or who, a populace who does not believe their message, or a populace who is unwilling to follow them, then the fertile ground that they seek to either uh, control physically or to institute uh, some terror, uh, either high-profile attacks, murder and intimidation, uh, un unquestioning uh, Sharia law, uh, so that they've lost that opportunity there. So what that does is give both us in the short term and more importantly the government of Iraq in the long term operating room and breathing space so they can build uh, loyalty, fidelity, they can get schools going, health clinics, they can give them the evidence of social services and infrastructure that the people of Afghanistan need. Sure. The, uh, I was in Afghanistan in November and um, uh, met with General McChrystal at that time and asked him prior to the President making his announcement uh, as to a timetable that we would in fact uh, begin to be able to draw down our forces in 2011 was the objective of the President. That I asked General McChrystal if he got the troops that he requested, uh, when could we expect <coughs> excuse me, to draw down our forces? And he said uh, 2013. Keep in mind that, and, and I asked him, uh, uh, at, he was referencing the 40,000 uh, at that point. Um, now, he got 30,000, and I understand 9,000 from our coalition partners. Um, first of all, could you respond as to what the net is in terms of coalition partners since some are withdrawing? And number two, uh, to what extent do those coalition partners that will exist uh, going forward uh, have caveats that, that keep them uh, from participating in certainly in kinetic operations? At this time, uh, Mr. Kaufman, we have 46 troop contributing nations in Afghanistan, including the United States. Uh, it's almost a 50 50 split. I think it's 22, 23, and 1, the number that are caveat free, that can do anything. And then some of them, the, the national caveats, while certainly restrictive, are not preemptive. That doesn't preclude them from what they can do. So I know the commanders on the ground take a very close look about how they assign battle space and how they assign missions to get the maximum use of each of the troop contributing nations when they get there. Uh, I'd have to take a look at the master plan to see in the aftermath of Kandahar as we stay there uh, in days ahead where the lay down of forces may be. And I could get that to you if you need that. Sir. Thank you. Uh, General Paxton, I appreciate that. Secretary Florinor. You, um, I, I was listening to your statement in, in defining um, the, the mission as, as it exists now in, under this administration. And I think at one point in time you, you, you said it's about keeping al-Qaeda out, um, uh, out of Afghanistan. And then you, uh, you qualified that further uh, in terms of al-Qaeda and their associates. Um, what is the end state? Is the end state potentially, uh, uh, since you did mention the Taliban, uh, is, is it a coalition uh, government uh, that would incorporate uh, the Taliban or elements of the Taliban? I think that the, um, you know, the, the key from our interests uh, perspective is to deny any safe haven for al-Qaeda and its associates. I think that in any situation, a coin strategy, the military dimension takes you so far, and at some point there is a political uh, set of outcomes that are reached. We saw this in Iraq. Um, I think the, we are, the Afghan 
uh, we're working with the Afghan government to try to get a better understanding of the process that they will ultimately lead on both re reintegration and uh, reconciliation. I think it's very important to set a set of criterias, criteria for who uh, will get reintegrated back into Afghan society and how. Um, and, you know, whether it's, it's uh, um, uh, disavowing al-Qaeda, laying down their arms, abiding by the Constitution, those are the kinds of criteria that the Afghan government will need to articulate as they get to the point of um, defining what, what an acceptable political end state looks like. And we will certainly be in deep conversation with them about that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Ms.